And the government wants to see reform to voting in the Senate. And they're negotiating with the Greens to see who might support what and whether they can win their support. For more on this, I'm joined now by Liberal Democrat Senator David Lionhelm. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, Senator Lionhelm, is your understanding of how and what the government wants to do to reform voting in the Senate really designed to get rid of or limit the power of the minor parties? Um, that's pretty much it, yes. They're pretty frustrated with dealing with the crossbench. Um, they for some reasons which I don't understand, think that they're better off having uh, a minority position in the Senate with only the Greens and Labor to deal with and, and Nick Xenophon, which Nick would get back in, um, than dealing with um, Labor and the Greens on one side and then negotiating for a, a majority via the crossbench. They're very frustrated with it. I, I can't blame them a I little bit I was going to say, that. you sound like you understand their frustration. Yes, I do. They're, some of the crossbench are very frustrating to deal with and um, I can't blame them. Not for... you, of course. I'm perfect. No, that's right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, um, yes, I, I understand their, their uh, reasons. I just think that they're, they're listening to the proposal coming from the Greens and Nick Xenophon a little too much, in my view. All right. I just want you to give viewers a, a very quick pricey of what those proposals are because the Greens are negotiating to end what they are calling preference harvesting. Mm. Now, that's a, um, a very pejorative term, mm. but they think you're, you're gaming the system. You very minor parties. Yeah. I, I don't know why we're gaming the system and they're not. Um, the Labor Party and the Greens have always done deals on preferences. The Liberal Party and the National Party, when they run separately, have always done deals on preferences. In New South Wales as well, for example, the Christian Democrats have always given their preferences to the Liberals. Um, uh, and there are plenty of other parties. Right, but get... let's stick with, with federal because mm -hmm. they still have no, to get the, federal, read yeah. the quote, um, reach the quota, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. So uh, what they You don't reach the quota in um, your own right. Uh, no. So none of the, usually the first and second of the major parties, uh, the senators elected, are elected on primary votes. So um, sometimes not the second one, but usually the first and second, and there's six senators to be elected. The, the fifth senator and the sixth senator, senator elected in each state is always elected on preferences. Doesn't matter whether the Liberals win it, Labor wins it or the Greens win it or a minor party win it, the same system applies. So it's always done by preferences. What they're complaining about is the result. They don't, now that the process is understood by the minor parties doing the same things as they've done all the, all the time with other, with other parties themselves, now the minor parties have worked out if they work together as well, um, they can also win a seat, fifth or sixth, they don't like it. All right, it's the group voting ticket above the line, isn't it, that really ha has got them rattled and, and they, that allows you minor parties to really transform a tiny percentage of the vote into seats in the Senate. Now, the government wants that changed. You got a certain vote yourself. You didn't get the quota, but some of your colleagues, Ricky Muir, I mean, famously got, what, around 1% mm -hmm. of the vote? Oh, less, yeah. Less than 1% it was, wasn't it? And um, Bob Day, Senator Bob Day, got, you know, just a couple of percent. Now, oh, how is that? Yeah. How is that truly representative? Well, of um, a state. Okay, the same system has applied since 1984, 85, I think. So there's nothing new about the system. So it's been in a long time now. Um, we have seen some quirky results previously. Um, you might remember Steve Fielding from Victoria was elected on about two percent of the vote, two and a bit percent in Victoria. Um, uh, so he sat for six years. Yeah. In the so Senate. it's frustrated the, um, both parties it's, since it's, those days. It's been, it's been there. Uh, Senator John Madigan, from, also from Victoria, was elected on two and a half, three percent of the vote, or something like that. So this this is not a new phenomenon. All right. But What's changed is that the numbers of the minor party senators have increased because it's it's not just occurred in Victoria. It's occurred in most states. My but you would say when, when you minor parties started to get re a real presence in the Senate, that's when the big parties actually want to do something to get rid of you. That's right. Yeah, when, when we figured out the system as well as they did, yeah, that All was, right. Well, that's that what you say, but to be changed. wouldn't you, would you agree that perhaps a three or a four percent, if you were getting that sort of a vote, that's a kind of quota that allows you to stay in the count? I mean, is that fair? 
Yes, I, I probably wouldn't object to that. There, there are quite a number of possibilities for, for voting reform that we in the minor parties could live with. Um, the one that we can't live with is getting rid of group voting tickets. We, uh, that's the one above the line and where the party chooses where your preferences go if you choose rather to vote that way. Rather than the individual voter. Rather than the individual voter. And we would support actually reducing the number of boxes you have to number below the line to just six or more um, as an option. So if you don't want to give your preferences to the party, you can direct your preferences yourself. But getting rid of the group voting ticket, we already have that in New South Wales. We have optional preferential above the line. Minor parties hard to get a look in. It basically is a wipeout. And in the Senate, with only six seats to be won, no minor parties, with the exception of Nick Xenophon, would win. We would all be gone. All right. Now, I mean, you, you're sounding very reasonable about this, but I understand you are very angry about it. And in fact, you've threatened to pull any support for any government bill. Is that right? Well, um, if, if they change the voting system, and there are seven of us still sitting there. So Senator Madigan is uh, up for election. So assuming they change the system, um, he's not re-elected. There'll be at least seven of us sitting there um, after the next election. Assuming, All right, but I'm talking about now, between now and then. Oh. And uh, for, for instance, things like the Building Commission yeah, uh, building legislation. ABCC bill, yes. Well, what I've said is... Would you pull your support for that? Um, yeah, under certain circumstances I would. What I've said is that I can... I have not so far um, uh, sort of voted against the good in favour of the perfect, but I could become a perfectionist overnight. We're a very principled party, we're libertarian, uh, the Liberal Democrats are a libertarian party. Very little of the legislation that's gone up through the Senate has been strictly libertarian, in other words, the, the, in favour of the individual reducing the size of government. Now, I could easily say, well, if it's not up to my standards, I'm not going to vote for it. I've been quite pragmatic up to date and said, well, it, it's better than nothing. All right. But sometimes only just. In recent days, weeks, have you had any discussions with anyone senior from the coalition about this? I have. Um, I've been discouraging them from thinking of uh, joining the Greens and, Zen and Nick Xenophon on this issue. But you'll probably have no choice. They, they will get that support, won't they? I I'm not convinced that the, the Liberals and the Nationals would vote with the Greens if Labor is not on board. And it does look as if Labor's not on board on this. Well, There's Gary Gray, I think, today was saying Labor should support Yes, Senate Gary reform. Gray has a view that, that they should support it. I am aware that there is a fairly strong counter view within Labor. And um, they tell oh. me that, that they're winning. But I, I'll, you know, I don't know yet. All right, Senator Lionhelm, thanks so much for coming on to talk to us about it. My pleasure. Well, coming up